The climate crisis and urgent need for an energy transition are undeniable. In this interview, we will be speaking with Martin Vetsela, CEO of Muere, who introduced the company's positive motion strategy to lead Muere in the energy transition. We will also hear from Carmen de Pablo, CFO at Muere, who brings 25 years of experience to her role, directly overseeing strategy and sustainability, integral aspects of the company's decision-making process. Mueve aims to transform from a traditional integrated oil and gas player to a leading producer of green molecules this decade. So Martin, I'm um, intrigued to know a little bit more about you and, and your background and what brought you to Mueve. Um, I understand you were in Shell um, for a few years before uh, you came to Mueve. So if you can tell me a little bit about that, it would be interesting. Yeah, no, indeed, indeed. No, I, I worked for Shell for 26 years and it was a fantastic time in my professional and private life. We went all around the world and worked across all the energy system and did some or did many fantastic um, things and projects. Well, what attracted me about the Moeb uh, uh, case and the opportunity to lead Moeb was, was this whole transformation where Moeb is still big enough to matter, as it clearly is, not as big a shell, but big enough to matter, but it's small enough to transform in a single generation, where you say, I, I started and finished this transformation into a green uh, energy transition leader. Um, uh, and that opportunity um, was too hard to resist. And that's why I'm here. So Martin, I understand it's been very exciting recently. Um, you changed the name of the company from Thepsa to Mueve. Um, could you tell me about that? Right, no, it's uh, very exciting uh, times in, indeed. Uh, we're in the middle of this huge transformation of the company. And Mueve to me signifies motion, positive motion, which is the name of our strategy. It projects a world that is dynamic, that is agile, and is moving towards, towards a better place. We have proudly been Thepsa for a, a hundred years. It has been a great brand that, that served as well. But, but it means the Spanish oil company. And it's not what we want to be in the, in, in the course of the decade as we massively invest in green molecules and fast charging solutions. We want to project into the world that fresh image, that, that business model, that, in, that strategic intent. Uh, and alongside with the core decarbonization objective, we also want to project positivity more in a general sense, to have a positive impact, not just on the energy transition, not just on our bottom line, but also on the communities we touch, on our own employees, on the environment, on basically anything that in our, in our own ecosystem we, we, we interact with. Why is it uh, so important to take bold action uh, towards combating climate change, which is uh, one of our biggest uh, worries these days? It's, it's absolutely crucial. And we live it every day, right? 2024 is going to be the warmest year ever. And it doesn't make the headlines anymore because 2023 was also the warmest year ever and so was 22. But if you think about it the other way around and realize that 2024 is probably the coldest year you will ever experience going forward, that's quite scary. We're behind the Paris Agreement, we're behind um, most of the metrics and the targets that governments have set themselves. And so it's really, really time to prove that the, that the energy transition is not a linear process, but, but, but actually something that's exponential and that we can bend that curve and really start to grow fast in terms of bringing those low carbon and no carbon solutions into the market. Do you feel that it's achievable, the 2030 goal? Uh, that's absolutely achievable. Um, it just needs us to put ourselves to work. It also needs, you know, we can't do this by ourselves. We need to work with authorities on permits, on subsidies, on, on getting stuff together. But I am, I am positive. Um, that, that we will achieve that goal. And can you expand a little bit on your positive motion strategy? Yeah, our positive motion uh, strategy essentially sets out to turn what was a classic oil and petrochemicals company into a European leader in energy transition, and in particular in green molecules. The reason for that is that the, the, the most difficult to decarbonize sectors in the world are those that can't electrify. Electricity is a relatively simple and available way to, um, to decarbonize, but there are important sectors such as shipping, aviation, heavy road transport, heavy industry, 
um, chemicals industry um, that, that simply need a molecule to function. And these are the hard to abate sectors. And, and that's what we want to focus most of our capital on by delivering what we call green molecules into the sector so that also they can decarbonize. We're already building uh, the largest second generation circular biofuels plant and, and complex in Southern Europe, um, which will produce soft sustainable aviation fuel and, and sustainable biodiesel. Um, and there we actually are already also selling the product. You can buy uh, SAF in seven different Spanish airports, wow. or you can buy sustainable maritime diesel in 60 different Spanish ports. So, so we, we, are, yeah, we are selling the green molecules, not just planning them. You're very ahead in, in, the, in the process. And we still have a lot to do, uh, be, because to, to become yeah, a European leader in this space mm. um, um, means that we really have to still accelerate our activity before 2030, and that's one of the main goals of the company is to be to have the majority of our of our profits from sustainable sources by the end of this decade. Well, thank you so much, Martin, for your time. Um, it's been really fascinating hearing more about the company. And yeah, no, we are very excited to be uh, to be where we are, and even more excited about where we're going. But we we realize there's still a lot to deliver, and it's uh, all hands on deck. Carmen, it's so nice to meet you. I understand you work more in strategy and sustainability. Yes, uh, well, pleasure, Avi, to be with you here today. And yes, uh, I'm currently Moeve's uh, CFO, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm also responsible for strategy and sustainability alongside also IT. But strategy and sustainability are really a core part um, of, uh, of my role and what we do and how we develop our strategy to lead us into the energy transition Sustainability is really a core part of our strategy. Mm -hmm. And it's like two sides of the same coin in the, in the way that we look at a strategy and sustainability. Um, in terms of the commitment, um, we actually are looking to invest between seven and eight billion euros uh, effectively um, uh, over this decade uh, with an objective to have more than 60% of those investments into sustainable projects. That will convert the way that we are actually, you know, bringing our results. So more than 50% of our EBITDA contribution will be coming from sustainable activities. Would you say that Muebi is very much the I, pioneers? I, I like the word pioneers because we really feel that way. Um, it's one of the, our values to, to be entrepreneur and really take the lead and, and, um, and bring effectively um, uh, new ways of energy. Um, it is the responsibility of energy companies like ourselves to take this step. Carmen, can we um, just focus a minute on the main priorities in relation to sustainability? Yes. So in terms of uh, sustainability, there is a number of uh, topics that are important to us, but in particular CO2 uh, emissions reduction. And when we have very clear targets, as we explained during our positive motion strategy, we have the ambition to reduce uh, scope one and two emissions by 55% uh, in 2030. And these are figures compared to 2019. We have also wanted to be reducing uh, by more than 20% uh, our water consumption. Um, uh, effectively by next year, by 2025, we are in uh, water stress areas. So it's important uh, to make sure that we consume uh, adequately and properly. So making that reduction. Um, which is actually probably one of the first um, companies to really be upfront on water sensitivity and consumption uh, as being part of one of our goals and criteria. Carmen, could we have a look now um, at the green skills uh, subject that are needed for energy transition and also the role that Mueve is playing in helping to create uh, the jobs of the future sustainable economy. When you look at also the green molecules uh, and we actually um, carried out a study with Manpower, where we actually see the creation of 1.7 million jobs uh, within uh, the new energies uh, uh, by 2040 uh, within Europe. And we have a unique opportunity to bring talent uh, to effectively create and industrialize areas um, for example, for us in the southern uh, of Spain, what we need to do also from our side is, um, is obviously bring the skill set 
uh, the reskilling, upskilling of our workforce, and this is part of the programs that we are already undertaking. Uh, we have also to attract new talent that brings new ideas and, and, uh, and motivation into our company. And we have a program that is challenging you for green molecules, so very specific around what we do. Carmen, uh, thank you so, so much. I've learned a lot about Mueve. Thank you so much, Javi, for having us. We are very excited about our strategy at Mueve and the sustainability, um, obviously, path that we're bringing forward to society and for all of us and the planet. Mueve is embarking on an exciting journey to become a key player in the energy transition, focusing on green hydrogen and sustainable biofuels to drive decarbonisation across heavy transport and industry. With a strong commitment to sustainability and innovation, Mueve is also honing the skills needed for the green economy, contributing to a cleaner, more sustainable future.